Hey there everybody, this is Chris, aka Destroyer X, and here I am continuing the video tag series with another video. Um, this video is actually in response to a video that my friend Kayla did on YouTube. Um, she asked some questions related to the Star Wars universe, and I, she also answered some of those questions on her, on her um, YouTube page, and I'm going to go ahead and answer the questions on my page. <laughs> Um, the first question is, what is your favorite Star Wars game? My favorite Star Wars game currently is Star Wars The Old Republic. I've only played a few Star Wars games. I've played Super Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back on Super Nintendo. i played Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi on Super Nintendo. i played Shadows of the Empire on Nintendo 64. And i played the PC game Star Wars The Old Republic. Currently, that is my favorite game in terms... If I was going to go my favorite to my least favorite game, it's going to be Star Wars The Old Republic. Then it's going to go to Shadows of the Empire. Then Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi. And Super Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> anyway, um, next question is, what is your favorite Star Wars book? Well, honestly, I haven't read through a lot of the books. Um, I read through... The vast majority of Shadows of the Empire, I th read through some of it whenever they published a little, um, whenever they published some of it in um, Nintendo Power as a promotional tie-in for the game, and I read most of the comic whenever it was released in its own graphic novel. Um, as far as other books, I kind of I picked through, um, I did pick through Shadows these Shadows of the Imp Empire. Novel. I've read bits of the Star Wars book, uh, Star Wars: A New Episode Four, A New Hope book. I read through a little bit of epi Star Wars Episode Five, The Empire Strikes Back, and I read through a little bit of Star Wars Episode Six, Return of the Jedi. But I really, really liked. As far as the books go, my favorite book is going to be Star Wars Episode Three, Revenge of the Sith. It does go into some things, just like all most of the books. They, it goes into some things that are not covered in the movie. Um, some of it is pertinent to what goes on, um, goes on in the general universe after um, after um, Palpatine initially gets becomes the Emperor and whatnot. But I found it to be a pretty enjoyable book. Uh, let's see, how old was were you when you first started getting into Star Wars? I don't know how old I was. I, I know it was before, prior to the age of 10, but I don't remember for sure when I started getting into Star Wars. Um, let's see. Another question is, who is a Star Wars character that you relate to the most? Quite honestly, as far as my personality and whatnot, I would say C-3PO because of his logical nature. Um, he's an etiquette droid. He was programmed from et for etiquette and protocol. And he's also an interpreter droid. Which is the reason why, and the fact that protocol is one of the things that you know, I'm kind of nerdy about, I guess. So I guess that's, and the fact that with his logic and whatnot, that's one of the reasons why I'm into, I best relate to C-3PO. What is your least favorite Star Wars movie? That would be episode Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. The Phantom Menace itself, um, I like some things in it, like the pod race. I like the battle against, with um, Qui-Gon Jinn and... Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Maul. The space battle over the planet of Naboo was pretty amazing in itself. But there were some things I didn't really care for. There was a particular character I didn't care for. And the whole thing about the Force being explained via midichlorian counts. And those with a higher midichlorian count would have a better would be better attuned to the Force and whatnot. I really didn't care for that all that much. Um I'm, I'm not sure why. It might have something to do with the fact that prior to that episode, um, Star Wars was the force was pretty much an energy. It was an energy field that surrounds all living field, all, all living beings. It surrounds us and penetrates us and binds the galaxies together. And so all of a sudden, they explore. They talk about midi chlorians and explain the force as part of science or something. I don't know. I always thought of the force as being a spiritual thing. Who is your least favorite Star Wars character? That is Jar Jar Binks. I am not a big fan of that character. I know some people didn't like the Ewoks whenever they were introduced in 
Episode 6, Revent, uh, Return of the Jedi. But I didn't find the Ewoks to be annoying at all, in all honesty. I find Jar Jar Binks to be much, much more annoying. He's clumsy, he's annoying, his speech, his Gungan speech is uh, great on my ears and whatnot, and I just don't care for him. Next question is, what is your favorite Star Wars ship? It's not the Millennium Falcon, it is not the X-Wing, it is not even the Star Destroyers, or, or the TIE Fighters, or anything like that. It's, it's not any of those. In all honesty, my favorite ship has a, is actually one that intrigues me the most. We don't get to see it very often, a whole much, a whole lot, except for episode two and episode five. Yes, and that ship is Slave One. One of the things that intrigues me about that ship is the fact the way it takes off. You know, it kind of it when it lands, it's perpend, it's horizontal. And then, as it takes off, it goes, it goes vertical, and then, bam, it takes off. It's pretty amazing, I have to admit. Um, it intrigues me, and, well, granted that it's only been featured in those two movies, but it's also been ex featured in several expanded universe um, sources, too, but it's an interesting ship, I have to give it. I have to admit, it is a very interesting ship. My next move question is, what is your favorite scene from the Star Wars movies? That would be the battle between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker in the throne room for episode 6, Turn of the Jedi. You have Luke who is struggling to... He's, seeing, he, he's witnessing the battle of Endor, pretty much right from the throne room, he knows that his friends are being kidnapped, and he knows that the person that made this all happen is just sitting right there, tempting him into going, joining him and falling to the dark side. And then all of a sudden, as he retrieves his lightsaber and tries to strike down the Emperor, Vader decides to go ahead and, well, he defends the Emperor, and he tries to turn Luke to the dark side and the the battle in the in the throne room was pretty amazing for me. It's probably my first memory, of, my first real memory of a duel between Luke Skywalker and Darth, Darth Vader. And yeah, that's pretty much about it on that one. Um, my final question that was that was asked was, do you want any future Star Wars movies? Well. Uh, this one's a tough one because as far as the original trilogy goes, as far as the prequel trilogy goes, and as far as the Clone Wars movie goes, you know, I think that those movies are they those movies are set in stone and you know, they shouldn't really draw upon anything any they shouldn't make any more movies regarding the um, regarding those characters in those particular movies. However, I would not be opposed to a Star Wars movie made in the far future, long after the, the Skywalkers are gone, cut are deceased, long after the Solos are deceased, long after, you know, long after 3PO, long after R2-D2, so on and so forth. I would not be opposed to a Star Wars film that's, that's far, far into the future, or a Star Wars film that is, that takes place, that takes place far, far into the past. But as far as the core characters that we know from the Star Wars movies that were released, I don't want any more movies involving those characters, honestly. I think that what we have right th what what we have for those movies, those should be left alone. They shouldn't adapt Shadows of the Empire, they shouldn't adapt um, the Dark Empires or anything like that. They should just, you know, go go into the far future or in the way in the far in the way distant past. And that's my opinion on that. Anyway, I that's all the questions I was asked. So, <laughs> that's it. Anyway, this is Chris, a.k.a. The Story Rex, signing off. Take care, everybody, and ciao for now. Bye. <laughs>